Hello chess lovers, let's have a look at a game played by Deep Blue Computer and Gary Kasparov. This is game 6 from their famous Man vs. Machine 1997 match. Deep Blue started with e4 and c6 by Gary Kasparov. Gary Kasparov usually goes for Sicilian defense, but during this match, this is the second time that he goes for Karokan defense. d4, d5, knight c3, d takes e4, knight takes e4, knight d7, knight g5, knight f6, bishop d3, e6, knight f3, and a dubious decision by Kasparov h6. The main move in this position is bishop d6. But instead, Kasparov played h6. Probably he was thinking that the engine won't go for a knight sacrifice, won't go for too much complications. But Alice, the engine played knight takes e6, going for a knight sacrifice on move 8. Instead of recapturing, Kasparov first played queen e7, securing a space for a king on d8 square and after castling only then he captured on e6. Here comes bishop g6 check, king d8, bishop f4 and b5. By playing b5, Kasparov is going to develop the bishop and also he's taking under control this c4 square and securing an outpost for the knight on d5. But at the same time, this is weakening the queen side and now Deep blue computer is going to use that weakness and place a4, trying to open up the queen side. Knight d5. Well, if b4 trying to close up the queen side, then after c4, this is a very unpleasant position for black. If a5, then white can play rook e2, and after knight e8, queen e1, targeting the pawn on e6. If queen f6, then bishop takes e8. If queen takes f4, then bishop takes d7, king takes d7. White can play knight e5 check, and then knight g6. Also, black is also going to lose this pawn on e6, and this is winning for white. Let's go back. After rook e1, we see knight d5, bishop g3, king c8, and a takes b5. c takes b5, queen d3, targeting the pawn on b5. Bishop c6, but here comes bishop f5, this time targeting the pawn on e6. Kasparov decided to give up his queen by playing e takes f5, exchanging the queen with a bishop and a rook. Well, if knight b4, then after queen c3, king b7, white can capture on e6. If queen d8, then d5, sacrificing the pawn in order to open up this c file. If bishop takes d5, then here comes this sharp rook e8 move, trying to lure away the queen, which is covering the c7 square, and black is losing. Let's go back. After bishop f5, we see e takes f5. Here comes rook takes e7, bishop takes e7, but here comes c4 and Kasparov resigned. This is move 19. If b takes c4, then after queen takes c4, knight b4, rook e1, rook e8, knight h4, black's position is just collapsing. If knight b6, then queen f7, knight d5, knight takes f5, and it's over. Before this game, the overall score of the match was 2.5 and 2.5, and, and this was the last game of their 1997 match. And by winning this game, Deep Blue won the match by 3.5 and 2.5. And Your comments and questions, please, and don't forget to give the thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. More videos are coming. Good luck.